Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Nietzsche from AIM Orthopedics here in Alliance, Ohio. Today I wanted to talk to you about the direct anterior approach hip replacement or muscle sparing hip replacement surgery. In this approach to hip replacement, we make an incision on the anterior or front part of the hip joint approximately this big. This allows us to go down and go in between the muscles rather than cutting through them as we did on the traditional hip replacement surgery. Once we get access to the hip joint, we remove the arthritic portion and we recreate the joint with metal. We put a metal cup into the pelvis part of the hip. This is made from tantalum or titanium with a plastic piece in between to act as a spacer. On the femur side, we place a stem down in the femur with a ball made of uh, ceramic or cobalt chrome to recreate the hip joint. Traditional hip replacement surgery, the surgeon would make an incision on the side of the hip and access the hip joint from the back or posterior aspect of the hip joint. In order to do this, he had to cut through tendon and muscle uh, to get to the hip joint. Although this is the gold standard of hip replacement surgery, there is a relatively high rate of dislocation with the posterior approach, uh, reported between 2 to 4 percent. The other way of doing hip replacement surgery is also cutting on the side of the hip, but gaining access through the hip joint going through the front of the hip. Again, in this type of hip replacement surgery, you do have to cut tendon and muscle in order to get to the anterior aspect of the hip joint. And this got rid of the high risk of dislocation. However, because we are cutting through one of the hip muscles, uh, patients report a relatively high incidence of limp after this kind of surgery. So with the direct anterior approach, we're able to avoid cutting the tendon and muscles and still achieve uh, low incidence of dislocation. What we are finding is that the majority of patients after having this type of approach to hip replacement surgery have less pain initially postoperatively and are able to get up and move around more quickly and more efficiently than with the traditional hip replacement surgery. With traditional hip replacement surgery the average hospital stay is between three to four days. What we're seeing with the direct anterior approach is that patients are able to go home uh, within uh, one to two days after surgery. Most patients are candidates for this approach for hip replacement surgery. Some contraindications are patients who are morbidly obese, those with short uh, stature, or bone deformities that won't allow us to get good access to the hip joint. If you have any questions about the direct anterior approach hip replacement surgery, or any other questions about your orthopedic care, give us a call here at AIM Orthopedics, 330-596-6500. Thank you for your time.